everyone, I am Diana Shiplett and I'm usually like more bubbly and everything when I'm filming but um, today's a really sensitive topic and um, I just like, you know, it's not about the video today, it's not about being like woo, it's all about um, speaking to the heart. Um, this video is for you if you're currently going through depression or anxiety or you know suicidal thoughts it's a really hard topic to talk about so um i'm gonna start off with prayer um i believe in the power of prayer and i also believe in jesus so i'm gonna invite god to be in this place um and to use me to be a vessel and speak through me because i know this is really sensitive and i want to be cautious with what's coming out of my mouth so yeah, let's get to it. All right. Um, God, we thank you for this time. You, God, um, you know what people have been going through lately. You know their heart. Um, you know what they're going through. I give you this, um, this time, Lord, to come and take over, to speak to the heart of the person watching, Lord. Um, that you would give them hope and courage and that you would lead them to yourself, to your heart. And um, that I would just be someone you used to be a part of, just even if it's a little light, Lord, because you, Father, are a big light. You um, change our lives for better. I give you this time, Lord. I bless you and I bless um, the people watching in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. All right, so today I really wanted to talk about um, depression and suicide. Um, depression being because I, in the past, have struggled with like major depression to the point I was diagnosed with it twice. And then, um, you know, recently, these last few weeks, I seriously have felt like that depression tried to creep in. And then I want to talk about suicidal thoughts because it's something um, that I struggled with for a long time, but also, um, unfortunately, something that I keep seeing, especially in the Christian community, um, in the group of friends that I have, um, you know, a guy that had just been married for a year just committed suicide. I personally didn't know them, um, but it's sad. Um, and heartbreaking to know you know that now he has left the wife and we don't know the reasons and um, it is heartbreaking and then the other one would be um, a pastor from California also who had two kids and a beautiful wife and a church and he also committed suicide so I just feel like there's been like um, so many like suicides going on and like I said, especially in the Christian community. And so it's just like something like going around. Like it honestly feels like that. Like if in the spiritual realm, there's just something like a spirit of depression. And it's really bad. Um, I personally hadn't experienced depression in a long time. And all of a sudden for the, like the last two weeks, I have been feeling really down. Um, like I've been crying a lot. I've been really sad, but by the grace of God, excuse me, I have an awesome um, husband that prays with me. And also um, God gives me the strength to get up and seek him and be in his presence and his presence changes everything. But um, I want to talk to you. Um, if right now you're currently going through depression or suicidal thoughts, I want you to know that you're not alone. Um, I know what it feels like to be in this place where you like feel stuck um, and like nobody really understands you and you're like, um, I don't even know where this is coming from. Um, and sometimes you might know where it's coming from and you're like, I can't snap out of it. And I think right now I'm getting emotional because um, you know, just a few days ago, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, I have it, like, I just got married, and, um, you know, the YouTube channel's going well, 
but like this like sadness I could not get rid of it and then I just felt like I just felt like God kept saying like you need to be in prayer you need to be um like praying over yourself um, um like constantly be in prayer and um seeking my face like seeking him so I want to tell you like right now what you're going through it's temporary it's not going to last forever there are seasons um there's a season to mourn there's a season to be happy there's a season for everything and i want you to know that your life is worth living um so many times in my past i have tried um you know to end it and i have had those thoughts of like i just want to go home i want to leave and even when i became a christian i still struggled with those thoughts of like you know what life is hard there's no purpose there's no meaning i want to go with jesus and then um last year in february 2018 i was in that place where i really just wanted to go home and be with jesus and then I got into this horrible car accident where my car rolled on the freeway three times and for six months I suffered with severe pain in my back and I still suffer with pain but not as bad and that accident um, changed everything for me, um, how I view life and, and just me wanting to be alive. So after that accident I realized like you know what I was so close to meeting Jesus but now that you know that God gave me another opportunity to live um I was like I'm so thankful like the moment that I was truly gonna die I was like I do not want to die I want to stay and it has been so awesome after that accident I learned to appreciate life and then I ended up meeting my husband a few months after and now we're married so yeah we met a few months after the accident and now we're married so it all happened in a matter of a year everything happened so fast so i just want i hope that encourages you that you you might be going through a situation in your life where you're like um i'm just working and i don't really hang out with friends i don't have love i don't have like anything and you might be like there's no point to live like I want you to know like in a matter of one year um god can change things around for you and god is awesome and no matter what like god is really awesome like i'm currently going through a really hard situation at my new job where um i genuinely don't want to be there but i'm trusting god and knowing that this is just a season and just because this season seems really harsh and hurtful um, it doesn't mean it's always going to be like this. So, yeah, I want to encourage you to um, keep seeking God, um, to know that we all go through things. We all have a reason um, sometimes to want to stay in that depression, be stuck. But, um, like, we're overcomers. Like, even this mor morning, um, her name's Mundisa, I believe. You can search it. The song um, goes, you're an overcomer, stay in the fight, <laughs> wait what, tell the world that you're not going under, cause God is holding you right now, it might be, <laughs> I can't remember the song, but the whole point is the song is all about you're an overcomer, and in that music video you see how people are going through really hard times like cancer and then you see them overcome so um a lot of people are going through hard times and if that's you just know that you're an overcomer and um yeah like if you need um just someone to pray with like definitely try your best to find a home church and um, find people you can trust like a community and if you genuinely don't have someone to pray for you if you're a lady um, a woman I can pray with you and if you're a guy and you really need someone I can definitely refer you to my husband he's awesome and he loves people and yeah most importantly like God knows your heart he's watching you he's with you he loves you he cares um, he's for you so yeah um and then a few things that i can um you know 
uh, suggest that I do that help me whenever I felt like really stuck in that rut like last week was I go for a walk and I pray um, I spend time with God journaling and in the word and then I also um, play worship music because I feel like in the presence of God and worship like um, demons and depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts have to flee so definitely like if you have to play worship the whole entire day just do it and then having people that I can trust and speak to such as my husband and close friends that I can just be vulnerable with it's so important to have that in your life and let's see what else um yeah just like um making sure I'm taking those small steps to where I want to be because sometimes depression comes from feeling stuck like not knowing where you're going so taking baby steps to where you want to be really helps um get you out of that place and then um yeah that's that's what I would say I can't think of anything else um but yeah I really hope that this video somehow encourages you and that you're reminded that you are an overcomer and that you're not alone and that God loves you so much. <sighs> and yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys soon.